so Amazon, for example, have announced this little device, which is like a little button. And they sell them, uh, it's, like, it's like yay big, and you get one for, there are about 35 brands, and each button is a different brand. And you, so you get one for, say, washing powder, and you have it stuck to the side of your washing machine. And when you run out of washing powder, you press the button, and it orders that brand of washing powder from Amazon. There's nothing at all to stop the washing, the washing machine manufacturer to also have that built into the washing machine as well, right? It seems a very sensible thing to do. I've run out of laundry detergent today, actually, and on my way back from this interview, I'm going to have to go to the local corner shop near my house to buy some laundry detergent. Now, in the glorious IoT future, sometime next week, right, I'll have one of those little buttons, and I will have just gone, yes. Now, you could add that to things like drone delivery or same-day delivery from Amazon, something like that, and suddenly that little IoT device plus a different business model plus a different delivery model equals radical change on the high street. So I'm very interested in the next wave of wearables. Let's call it the ingestibles, such as the sensor that you swallow. And then there's the embeddables, such as a computer chip tattoo on your skin. And these types of tech, together with the power of the Internet of Things, is creating some fascinating outcomes. Now let's focus on the ingestibles. I'm talking about one square millimeter of a sensor in the form of a regular tablet that's perfectly safe to swallow. Imagine receiving a text message notifying you that you or a family member forgot to take a very important pill one morning, or not needing to go through a horrible invasive procedure just to find out if your stomach or digestive system is working the way it should or having the sensor keep a close eye quite literally from inside your system of the levels of vital markers in your body that your doctor simply needs to know about. So how does this work? Upon swallowing, the sensor is activated by natural electrolytes in your body. The pill then transmits a signal to a small battery-powered patch worn on your system and sends the data to your own smartphone or that of a family member, depending on what you want. It'll tell you if you're taking the wrong dose of a medication or mixing two that shouldn't be taken together. Something I believe we all do frequently. We need to reinvent. We need to reinvent things like uh, thinking around doors, maybe, as an example. Why, why can't we just approach our front door and the front door open, just like that, through a little connection which detects our presence? The other thing we need to reinvent is collaboration because now we need different people to collaborate um, in different ways, people who haven't collaborated before. So an example of that would be um, Volvo in Sweden have a development which basically detects ice. Cars are very good at detecting ice. They can detect it through the braking system, the ABS, or the traction control. And what would be really cool if when your car detects ice, you can signal to other cars around you to say that there is ice. Uh, it's a far better way of warning people about ice than uh, just the thermometer in the car. Um, so this is all possible with today's technology, but it needs collaboration. Start to imagine wearables therefore helping the public at large. Maybe elderly people who may need blood pressure monitors. Perhaps having alerts from the home for assisted living. Starting to think about healthcare in a social care sense, in the home or in a fitness sense, opens up all new IoT markets in healthcare and social care.